A whole generation grew up watching on TV the magic that was Mythbusters. Just as the show's title states, a team was in charge of busting some of the most famous myths with science. Granted, the results weren't always expected or even concluding, but were undoubtedly entertaining, fun, and nerdy cool. One of the most unforgettable Mythbuster stars is Carrie Byron, who was the Crash Girl part of the show's build team alongside Grant Imahara and Tori Bellici, who never failed to deliver more of those inventive experiments for which the show gained its fame. Although Carrie Byron and her two teammates left the show long ago in 2014, there's no shortage of questions regarding not only her exit from Mythbusters, but what projects she's been involved in since then, and also her whereabouts now. Are you also interested in the iconic Carrie Byron's whereabouts? Keep with us to learn more about her. We can only theorize about what caused Carrie Byron and her fellow Build Team mates exit from Mythbusters. After 10 years of appearing in the show and bringing top-notch science-centered entertainment to uncountable audiences, it was announced in August 2014 that Carrie, Tori Bellici, and Grant Imahara would no longer be part of the show as from the 13th season. Though nothing was ever confirmed, the trio's exit didn't seem to be a decision on their part, but by the show's production. As Carrie wrote on Twitter, now X, at the time, Mythbusters was taking a new direction. She also thanked the show for the experience she gained by being in it and the fans for their support, affirming that it had been an amazing run but a sad ending. Carrie's former team build mate, Tori, also had similar words to describe his experience in the show. On top of that, Mythbusters' original hosts, Adam Savage and Jamie Heineman, confirmed in a now-disappeared video that the show was going back to its origins, and described the trio as their friends, so it didn't seem that there were any bad blood between the parties. While at the time of the decision to let Carrie, Tori, and Grant go, it isn't far-fetched to think that the show's production was experimenting with the format. Unfortunately, that didn't seem to play out in the end, as Mythbusters was cancelled in 2016, after airing its 14th season. After being a Mythbusters crash girl for a decade, it isn't surprising that Carrie Byron found other TV jobs after her exit from the iconic show. The first was in 2015, when Carrie and her former Mythbusters castmate Tori Bellici became the Thrill Factor hosts. The then new Travel Channel show was centered around Carrie and Tori as they explored many adventures in amusement parks and similar adrenaline inducing places. This show was similar to Mythbusters as it involved science, fun, and entertaining situations, yet it only lasted one 11 episode long season. Later in 2016, Carrie, Tori, and Grant Imahara reunited again to host White Rabbit Project, a Netflix produced show that combined everything we loved about the former Mythbusters build team, but this time they combined their scientific knowledge with general culture and history to explore some interesting and attention-catching mysteries. Their goal was to go down a rabbit hole of researching technology, weaponry, internet mysteries, and a lot more. White Rabbit Project was surely a sight to behold for Mythbusters fans, who had not only missed seeing Carrie, Tori, and Grant together on TV, but also wanted them to create some amazing builds to demonstrate and sometimes negate their points. Sadly, the show only lasted one season before being canceled. In 2018, Carrie Byron published her book, Crash Test Girl, an unlikely experiment in using the scientific method to answer life's toughest questions. This work uses her learnings about scientific methods to explore diverse everyday topics and find answers to them. A year later, Carrie became the host of Crash Test World, which is part of the documentary Project Explorer series, investigating stories around the world and making short films about them. Carrie's Crash Test World was filmed in several locations in the U.S., Qatar, and other countries, shedding some light onto students and communities developing projects related to technology, environmentalism, sports, cuisine, and a lot more. Crash Test World lasted one six-episode-long season, aired in excerpts on separate occasions in New York, online, and by Discovery Channel throughout 2019, 2020, and 2021. 
Around those years, Carrie launched the online streaming service, Explorer Media, which is focused on creating educational content about technology and environmental preservation. The company is nowadays called Explorer and organizes the annual National STEM Festival, Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics, with Carrie as its co-founder and global vice president of production. These days, Carrie is also a public speaker who travels around the U.S., spreading the word about Explorer's mission and her support of STEM-centered educational projects for children and teenagers. Besides her passion for science, Carrie is also an artist. One of the reasons she ended up in Mythbusters was because she was pursuing a career as a sculptor. But not even her success in the science field stopped her from exploring her art in other ways, such as creating artwork for books. While Carrie Byron has seen herself grow as a supporter of STEM and a TV personality away from Mythbusters, not many people are aware of the personal highs and lows she's experienced in recent years. Carrie separated from Paul Urich, with whom she had been married since 2006. The pair welcomed a daughter together in 2009, but not many other details about her relationship with the artist are known, except that their marriage was dissolved in California in early 2020. After over a decade on air, Mythbusters officially ended in 2016. The cancellation was followed by the premiere of a spin-off called The Search, which lasted for one season and focused on finding new people to host a new generation of the show. No one from the original cast was included in it. Later in 2018, Adam Savage joined the cast of Mythbusters Jr., which served as a revival of the original show. But just like its predecessors, it only lasted one season on air. In 2021, Tori Bellici became the host of the automotive-centered spin-off, Motor Mythbusters. However, no revival with the original Mythbusters cast has been created since 2016. Sadly, Grant Imahara died from an aneurysm in July 2020 at 49 years of age. In a public letter in his honor, Carrie described Grant as someone with whom she'd experienced great adventures and a relationship with him and Tori as siblings. All in all, Carrie and the rest of the cast's time in Mythbusters is long gone. But there's no denying that the show brought them, us, and the audience many good moments and memories. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.